Welcome to the very important question on trigonometry. Prove that secant 8 theta minus 1 upon secant 4 theta minus 1 is equal to tan 8 theta upon tan 2 theta. Well, this question alone is the revision of entire trigonometry because it will use half angle as well as multiple angle and obviously the concepts of junior classes. So by looking at the question, the very first thing comes is that we should be writing secant 8 theta as 1 by cos 8 theta and similarly in the denominator secant 4 theta will be 1 by cos 4 theta and we'll be taking up the LCM in both the cases. So, Now this is the expression which we have after the LCM. Now it is very important to write and to understand that 1 minus cos 2a is 2 sine square a. This is known as half angle formula. Without this formula, it will not be possible to solve this question. So why 1 minus cos 2a is 2 sine square a? This is very easy to understand because cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sine square a and this is minus outside the bracket so this 1 and minus 1 is gone and this minus and minus is plus but since this is a lengthy question so we'll use it directly 8 theta the half angle of 8 theta will be 4 theta and here in the denominator 1 minus cos 4 theta will be turning to 2 sine square 2 theta so applying that Now, generally what happens, we cancel 2 because we have 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. But in this question, you can let 2 as it is because we be needing 2. But if you cancel that, later you can multiply and divide by 2. Now, using a basic logic, A upon B divided by C by D is AD by BC. So, the denominator, denominator, that is denominator's denominator will jump to numerator. Now, very smartly, you, you write sine 4 theta two times and combine that with, with cos 4 theta very smartly you break sine square 4 theta in a product form and you combine sine 4 theta with, with cos 4 theta and this too is used here why we are using uh, this kind of a trick because we need tan 8 theta in the numerator for that we already have cos 8 theta so the target is to make sine 8 theta in the numerator. So that is possible when we write 2 sine theta cos theta. So using that, this 2 sine 4 theta cos 4 theta will turn to, this will turn to multiple angle. This will turn to multiple angle divided by cos 8 theta is already waiting there. And this is 2 sine square 2 theta in the denominator. So now, can you combine sine 8 theta with cos 8 theta? That is tan 8 theta. So your numerator part is done. Now, what to do with this sine 4 theta? 
this sine 4 theta can be converted to half angle but why just now we have converted sine 4 theta using the multiple angle to sine 8 theta yes because the target is either 8 theta or 2 theta now one sine 4 theta is consumed in the multiple angle and the remaining sine 4 theta will be converted to 2 sine 2 theta cos 2 theta divided by 2 sine square 2 theta because we know that sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a okay so now we are almost reaching the answer this 2 and this 2 is gone one of the sine 2 theta is gone because down in the denominator we have sine square 2 theta if you are good at maths you can skip few steps but we are writing each and every step so can you see that this is tan a theta with cos upon sine so you can directly write that cos upon sine is cot 2 theta or you can take it directly to tan a theta divided by tan 2 theta or after writing cot you can convert that to 1 by tan 2 theta and this is the right hand side hence proof this is very important question and by loving this question you can also understand trigonometry this question alone is the revision of a trigonometry thank you very much god bless you